All right, folks, welcome back to Bones Backyard Homestead. Today episode is gonna be quick and fast, but it's gonna be awesome, a lot of destruction. So I finally have good enough weather and enough time that I went and rented a stump grinder. This thing is a beast. So it's a Toro. Let's see. Toro XTX 38. This thing is phenomenal. I've already practiced on a very small stump in the front yard, which pretty much really wasn't much of a stump either anyways, and it was already rotted out, so it went pretty quickly. However, the next couple of ones that we have are gonna be massive, so they're gonna be giants, and um, I'm ready for it. So, last year, I had a massive, probably 80 to 100 foot tall maple tree, and we took it out. Now when we took this thing out, it was right up against the fence here and there was all this brickwork and they said they couldn't grind this thing. So now I'm gonna do it. Now this thing measures from the edge of that root ball over five feet, from the fence over five feet. So as you can see, I've already had to take out the privacy fence. Some of that came down. <clears throat> something that came down when they were actually cutting the tree down once we take that one out we're going to take out that temporary fence and we're going to the backyard there's a stump back there that i've been trying to burn for the last couple of years um when i first bought this property there was 20 30 40 trees on it and i've cut a whole bunch down got a whole bunch of stumps so while i have this thing i'm gonna knock it out let's get at it All right, so it's been a couple days since we rented that stump grinder. I just kept on pounding and really work, 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 work. So let me wrap up this video real quick. As you can see, we took out that massive five foot by five foot root ball. Um, ended up <laughs> ended up slicing through the uh, the, the internet line. Um, they didn't bury it where they told me they buried it. So yeah, sliced right through. That was their fault. They repaired it. They took care of it. So that root ball is gone. Um, now that very last clip you saw me, uh, I actually ended up using the stump grinder to take down a whole entire tree. So this tree right here took it completely down because um, it was completely dead, sitting in the middle of the yard, massive tree on the front side of it, massive tree on the back side of it, another massive tree right there. It just was not growing very well at all. Um, just took that one out. Uh, we also took out so this one was the big massive one that I was trying to burn took that out and then there was like two more cedar trees along this route that I took out along this fence line so took out a lot of trees right there kind of wish i would have had some other work done because i have a couple more stumps that i could have taken out however i just can't get to them one is in the old chicken coop uh, another one is back behind the garden back there and just could not get to them because of the path and everything like that i didn't want to try to take that thing off-roading any more than i was already planning on it um, i also took out like i said the very very first stump that I did was that one in uh, right outside the house. It was right up against the corner of the house, and um, I cut that tree down when I first moved in. Took the chainsaw right to ground level, probably dulled the hell out of my blade doing it. Um, and it was pretty much rotten, but it was just high enough, just high enough that we were nicking it with the lawnmower. So that was the first one I practiced on. 
And then there was another one on the side of the house that I took out just to like kind of help out. I'm not sure if we can see it from here. Let's look here. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the mulch right there just past the uh, drainage pipe. Took that one out. Um, that one never really was a problem, but since I had it, I took it out. And then up in the neighbors uh, to the right of their mailbox, you can kind of see a dead patch. They had a stump there that they took out um, last year. And again, they probably left it maybe like an inch or two high. And so they kept on hitting it with mower and they were trying um, eco-friendly stump killers and it just wasn't working for them. So had it, they, they, didn't, they did me a solid. They helped me get rid of some of the mulch. They used it for their garden. They did a lot of the, all the manual labor for getting rid of the mulch. They used it in their garden. They put some along the tulips there. They put some out by the mailbox. So them helping me get rid of all that stuff. I was like, hey, I'll grind your stump out for you. No big deal. Um, I ended up renting that stump grinder. Rented it for a 24 hour period. I probably could have got away with a three hour period. It would have been half the cost. But then I also had to rent the trailer to haul it. And I all in. All in, I paid probably 300 bucks to rent that for a whole entire day. Honestly, was not bad because that got a lot of work done. And I, I mean, I'm loving it. Just having those stumps out is gonna make so many things so much nicer. I got to redo, redo this fence. Like this, this fence is not, this is not okay. This is not cool. Um, I wanna get my dogs some of the yard back, but I gotta redo that fence. The whole fence all the way around is rotted. So that's going to be one of those projects that as I have time, I'm going to get more of it done. Um, but I had to get that stump out of there first because that stump was causing most of my headache there. Now that that's out, I can start working on the other projects and get things done around this homestead. So stay tuned.